If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here and today we have for you some winter wildcard investments that could help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now what we're going to be looking at directly is actually just the winter wildcard cards that are in packs right now. Now there's a long, a large range of these cards, whether it be Graham, who's basically discard price, Neymar up to like three and a half million. There is a large range of prices in these cards and I like the look of a lot of these right now. So let me kind of explain why. Basically in promos past, like Road to the Knockout and things like that, Road to the Knockout and I think also the signature signings, basically what they've done is, for example, during signature signings, they would require when they re release a player SBC that you submit one of these signature signings cards during that promo. And during, for example, the Road to the Knockout promo, they would require that you submit a Road to the Knockout card into the SBC to complete that SBC. So what we're potentially looking at investing in is winner wild cards because since this is a two week promo there's a good chance that they're going to require some sbc that requires winter wild card cards boys before we go any further please drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications for more daily trading videos and let's go ahead and get right back into the action because we got two weeks of daily player sbcs there's a good chance these rise in price so looking at this team here, just to show you all the cards that are here, uh, let me just refresh this here. There's been a lot more supply today. So we're looking at some different prices, but I think they could potentially do this one because there's a lot of lower end cards in this team. So these cards won't go like crazy extinct when they get required. You've got Embarba, Torres, Terrapt, Embolo, um, Graham, and Achi and Pong, who are all basically fodder price cards who aren't really going to go extinct if you require them. So I love the look of this. And the reason for that is if we go look, the first promo they did this for was Road to the Knockouts, right? For Road to the Knockouts, we had cards like, let's look at Texera here. So this guy, when he comes into packs, he was down here at about 10k. He was literally discard price. And then... As you can see here, they started requiring these for SBCs, and he shot up to 30k twice. So you can you can see exactly when they start requiring these, and you can see this in basically all these cards. If we look at Menyafa here, he saw a bigger rise just because he had demand from other places as well. But he jumps from 19k up to 95k, and it's absolutely crazy the rises that you see in these cards just from an SBC. And just the one last one to look at here is Diop. He goes from 16, 17K up to 40K with all those SBCs. So they bring these player SBCs into the game that require the promo cards that are in packs and it makes all those promo cards rise in price. Now, what we've seen recently on the game is we haven't had this with a promo in a little bit. And what we saw right after this road to the knockouts was rule breakers and basically for rule breakers a ton of people invested in these because they expected ea to do the same thing where they require these cards in sbcs and you can see there's a big rise here from investors picking up these cards and then they didn't require these in sbcs and these all just drop back down so there is the chance that you could lose coins because they don't release any requirements that that use those but there's also the chance for example, with signature signings, that you can make some crazy coins. This guy here, Edwards, if we look at him, he came into packs, he was at 28,000 coins here. And then he jumps all the way up to 84,000 coins. These signature signings cards went absolutely crazy with the, when they got required for SBCs because they, they required them for like three straight player SBCs. And... The reason, again, that I really like these cards this time around is this is a two-week promo with daily player SBCs. So we have two weeks for EA to at some point include these cards into as, as an SBC requirement. So there is a ton of room for these guys to rise, which I love. Now, moving in to the cards I like to buy. So if we go ahead and look at the winner wildcards team, cards I absolutely love. Now, 
The cheap ones are always going to be a move. A Gram, an Achium Pong, a Terrapt. I mean, you can't go wrong because these guys are so close to discard value that, I mean, you can't really lose coins, especially if you wait until like Thursday to pick these up. These will probably be like 11,000 coins. Now, the risk with waiting until Thursday is they release a player SBC between now and Thursday and you miss the investment time and they already go up. But I absolutely love to wrap Achi and Bong Graham as just very cheap investments. Buy one, store it in your club, forget about it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, moving over to the game to kind of show you some of the cards that I love. My favorite card, one that I think is an absolute steal here as an investment, is this Winter Wild Cards Pau Torres. So if we take a look at him, we are talking about an 86 rated special Spanish center back who is very very usable in game he's got good pace great defending great physical height is good work rates are perfect he's left footed overall he's just he's a very sick card 86 rated amazing links you just can't go wrong with this card and i think he is my favorite investment for this video right now now my next one that i would say i like quite a bit would be to wrapped to wrapped i think is really good i know we already mentioned him but being 86 rated and about 13,000 coins for a special card, I think he's an absolute steal here. I mean, he's coming in right now at 14K and it's late at night here. So you'll be able to pick him up a lot cheaper. And if we do go look at like, for example, Rule Breakers, like I mentioned, was one where they never released an SBC for these cards, right? So these didn't really go up in price due to an SBC getting released. So I want to find someone that's similar to pow torres and rule breakers i would say someone that's somewhat similar to him would be like diaby possibly or even like zakaria zachariah whatever you want to call him so if we take a look here he just continuously drops but then you see this demand here at some point for a card that's this cheap 16 17k for a card this good there's going to be demand because he's going to get some sort of strong link to a card that gets released. For example, here, it was probably the Mbabu that got released because Mbabu got both a fire card and an ice card. He gets a strong link to Mbabu, so he rose in price here from 18K to about 25K. Now, if you have someone like Pau Torres that I mentioned, even if they don't release some sort of SBC that requires these winter wild card cards or anything, if they release some sort of like spanish left back or right back this pal torres is going to go up in price because he's very usable he's good rating he's spanish in the la liga and he's just overall a very very nice card so that's why he's my favorite because he kind of has multiple ways that he can go up and alongside this promo being good for these type of investments is it, we get daily player sbcs again so if they release a player SBC that's like a Spanish goalkeeper or a Spanish left back or a Spanish right back, then he could see a really good rise as well. So there's a lot of good opportunities to invest in these. Now, when it comes to selling, basically it's just sell whenever you're happy with your profit. Basically these cards will go up if there is a player SBC that gets released for those low end cards like Achium Pong and Graham, who are both very, very cheap, basically discard, those guys will really only go up if we get that SBC. So when they release that SBC, that is when you sell because that's when these cards will be at their highest. Wait like an hour or so after the SBC to see where their prices settle and then sell. Now, when it comes to someone like Pau Torres, for example, um, you can just keep holding on him even if they don't release an SBC because like I mentioned, there's a lot of ways that a card like this could go up. So I would just kind of hold on to him and wait and see where his price goes. So a lot of different ways for these cards to rise in price. The number one thing that would make them skyrocket would be them being required in multiple player SBCs. Even if they're just one SBC, they should move a bit if it's a very, very nice SBC. And again, Love this Pau Torres. Try to pick him up for about 15,000 coins. Great, great deal on this card. You can make some good coins on him. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.